Hello, I'm Richard from Ericsson Labs. Today I'll show you where to find the information you need to create application using our Mobile Sensor Actuator Link API. We will start by browsing the Mobile Sensor Actuator Link API page on labs.ericsson.com. This is the introduction page. On this page you can get a quick overview of the API and how it works. This API provides near real-time data transmission between a mobile phone and a PC tapping into the smartphone features to enhance a computer capabilities. It enables developers to easily monitor the sensors of an Android phone and send sensor data for controlling PC applications. For example, you can play PC games using your phone as a controller. Now let's go to the documentation page. On the documentation page, you can find everything you need to know about how to use the API. After reading the overview section, you can go to the API specification for the Java library, which is what you use on the PC side, and the Android SDK, which is what you use on the phone side. You can also get detailed information about the API by accessing the Java doc here. In the quick start section, you find an example that explains how to start developing an application. To get started, you first need to install a Java development kit and an IDE for Java programming, such as Eclipse on your PC. You also need to download our API library and the source code of the demos. And you find all of these files under the download tab. To give you some inspiration of what could, could be created using the Mobile Sensor Actuator Link API, we have created a quick mock-up of a simple game to demonstrate how it works. In this demo, users can control a game running on the PC using an Android and the sensors in the phone. Now, let's have a look at the Game Controller demo application. Now, start the demo on your computer. You will see a window looking like this. Now, start the Android application on your Android phone. It looks like this. Click the button called Connect. Now, follow the instructions to enable Bluetooth. Select a PC device. Now you have connected successfully. Now click the start button. Tilt your phone forwards and backwards and turn left and right to see the changes in the animations in the game window on the PC.